I wanted to share this quick video where I'm showing some of my sims now. We've updated raid bots, so the new tier is in with all the stuff. I think the first day when I checked some sims, they were wrong. They had the old tier, which was bad. But uh, I want to show four sims that I've done, and this is only for M+, noted. But uh, I'm testing out which is better, the CD build the, with coordinated assault. Which is uh, not this one. <laughs> this is the no city build. So I'm comparing the no city build with this build, which I'm basically just taking the tree down with coordinated assault. And I'm testing that between having tier 3 from season 3 uh, or if I'm using my season 4 tier. And I wanna see that comparison. Mm, and I will show you. Hello, it's me from the future. Do you know what would really help me and uh, continue doing these videos? Subscribe. Also, join me on the Discord. Enjoy the video. So, first off, this sim is with no CD, so no coordinated assault. And I'm using the season 4 tier set. I'm simming 453,000 DPS with Dunyan Slice. And you know, I'm mainly in M, so I want to. <coughs> I, I don't really care about single target. I'm already good in single target. Or not I. <laughs> Survival Hunters are good in single targets. I don't really care about that as much. It's not as important because it's the AoE that we lack. and yeah so i'm doing 453k dps which is you know decent it's <laughs> no it, there are tons of people who can do better than that but it is what it is so 453 and if i'm comparing that with the coordinate result build i am doing 441k so if you are playing the se uh, season 4 tier the current tier I would assume with this that, or my opinion is, play no CD build. Not only is it better in DPS, but for me I also like playing the no CD build because coordinated assault is, while it can be fun to burst more, it's a lot to take care of it. So if you're, especially if you're new to the class, then I would say play the no cooldown build, which is, again, I will show you which is this build. So it's pretty straightforward here, all the stuff is the same. Uh, but then instead of going down this tree all the way, you put one more point here and you have points here and you have mongoose bite as well. So yeah, solid one because you still have fear of the eagle and that is still a good thing to use. It does a lot of damage. I tested out the build without it and that was crap, so don't use that. So, If you are using the current tier, play this build, it's fun, it's easy, and you will pump. Now, if we go to, if I were to play as I am now with the last tier, we can see here, this is me playing uh, with coordinated assault uh, and now the tier 3 and sadly as you see I'm doing more damage than the current tier still even after the buffs which is you know super annoying um, but it is what it is and of course we are it's 30k sure it it does more damage but i'm with these numbers i'm considering myself to go just the current tier because i need the stamina for high keys to be able to survive it's better to survive and do a little bit less damage than to do a little bit more damage and die <laughs> because if you die you do zero damage so you know but anyways, if you are playing the tier 3 one, you are 
you can see here with coordinate result I'm doing 486 and if I play the no cooldown build I, I do 488. I did not know this. Uh, I've actually been pushing the cooldown build a lot because it's been performing well but apparently not right now. Uh, the cooldown build is kinda the no cooldown build is coming back again which I like. I don't know if I just missed simmed or whatever it was but from what I can cipher here it's it's good again which I like so my conclusion for this with my sims is that I am no longer gonna play the coordinated assault at all no matter the tier and if I am playing the tier 3 or tier 4 it all depends on the key I would say if I'm playing a 15, I will probably do the current tier because I need the stamina. But if I'm playing a 12 where I'm just gonna blast through and maybe get it done, yeah, then I will play um, something else. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy that. Uh, hope you get some insight on uh, what's going on. I also linked in my Discord to go check it out uh, a, a picture of some sims that was made from a guy in the True Shot Lodge Discord, and that's also showing how how small the DPS increase really is, and how big it is if we were just getting if we were to get the season three affic or like the tier set into our current. Man, we would do so much damage. Oh, we would be so good. But sadly, we aren't. But hopefully this cleared out some of the questions that you probably have as a survival hunter. Um, and as I said, again, I can't push this enough. Play the no cooldown build. It's my, at the moment, suggestion. Uh, as of recording this, it's the 6th of June, uh, so we're in the middle of the season, kind of. If something else would happen later on, I don't know. But for now, play the no cooldown build and try out. I mean, especially if you don't have 489 in tier 3, I would definitely just say play the current tier. Because I'm max, I have 489 on all four pieces, which is basically maxing all the stats but I, I mean if you have 476 or like some bads if you didn't really play last season at all maybe then no don't don't try to even get some old ones or whatever it's not worth it so at least this buff made it so that it's more acceptable for you to play it and I would definitely say if you're not pushing like the top 100 spots in the world or whatever then I would definitely just say play the, the current tier and enjoy it as much as possible and ho hold your thumbs for the next uh, season which is gonna be in the next expansion where I'm hoping they will do something fun with that but uh, yeah we'll see have a nice one and I'll see you in the next one bye bye